I got on the bus and I thought, oh, I'm the only guy that has a seatbelt. This, this is wrong. A BC bus driver says despite being cautious on the road, he fears for the safety of his young passengers. That's because his bus, like many others, doesn't have seatbelts. It's why he's launched an online petition calling on the federal transport minister to make it mandatory to have seatbelts in all school buses across the country. It's already picked up more than 80,000 signatures. I have all ages and uh, they're an awesome bunch and I don't want to see them get hurt when, when they don't have to. Or, or anything worse. Gary Lilico drives as many as 76 kids when he gets behind the wheel of his school bus. His route between Agassiz and Chilliwack takes him on the highway where he reaches speeds of up to 100 kilometers an hour. It's there, he says, he worries the most because at times his kindergarten kids will get up and walk around. They come up to the, the bus and they want to ask me a question or tell me something and, and they're five years old. so. They don't understand, of course. They, they don't understand the concept of an accident or getting hurt. So you've got to kind of shush them back into their seat and, uh, you know, reinforce that, no, you've got to stay in your seat. And that's a quick distraction, while, especially when you're on the highway. While Transport Canada publicly recognizes seatbelts on school buses can offer added protection, it says if seatbelts are not used or installed the right way on school buses, they could have a negative impact on safety. Making sure all children are properly secured in seatbelts is a lot more challenging in a 70-passenger school bus than in a five-passenger car or seven-passenger minivan. This is one of the reasons we allow provinces, territories and school bus operators to decide whether to install seat belts. Do you think it should be mandatory on all school buses? Absolutely, for sure. I mean, why wouldn't you want to protect children of all things? Well, I think if they're mandatory in cars and that makes a difference and saves lives, why wouldn't you have them be mandatory in school buses and have the same result? Oh, I support it because, like, I mean, after the Humboldt thing, like, that was so tragic. Lilico says retrofitting a single bus with seat belts can cost as much as $15,000 and thinks that might also be a factor why governments haven't made a move on this. My kids at the school, once they found out I was doing this, they, they asked me every day, Where, where's, uh, we got our seat belts yet? You know, I say, well, we're working on it. In Vancouver, Isabel Regem, City News.